council greenlit over 1,600 homes for the old bus barn on West 41st back in 2020. The developer at the time promised to build 175 units of social housing, a daycare and a park by 2028. But now a new developer, Grosvenor, owns the site and they're asking for a five-year extension. Now, city staff are recommending that council grant this extension until 2031 or 2033. And they're citing the change in ownership two years ago. The fact that the last owner didn't really do much with this site and the challenging economic conditions. In a statement, Grosvenor highlighted its, quote, long track record of proudly delivering meaningful amenities in all the communities in which we develop. In this instance, the overall development, including the market strata and rental, has experienced delays compared with what was assumed before our involvement. Unfortunately, those timelines were never feasible. This is due to the usual issues affecting our industry, market conditions, approval timelines, evolving government housing policies, and significant cost escalations across the board. A spokesperson adds they are facing delays with the entire project, not just the daycare park and social housing. But Green Councillor Pete Fry expressed disappointment with the delay of those amenities. I am worried that this is a trend that we're seeing. We're seeing a shift away from the kind of delivery of social housing more towards how we can just deliver on, on, on more supply, uh, but sacrificing a lot of those amenities that are really important. The BC Nonprofit Housing Association says this Oak Ridge project is one of the bigger social housing projects in the works but not the only one facing delays. But what it reinforces for us is the need for that continued investment from virtually every level of government. Because these projects take some time to be delivered after approval, um, that's why we need a steady stream of them coming online. At he adds the project's phase build-out means the city will keep leverage to make sure the amenities get built along with the market housing. Council will consider the extension Tuesday. Liam Britton, CBC News, Vancouver.